<laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm, You're I'm, back I'm... in town to do a week of shows in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Academy. That's right. Music. Next week we are That's at the right. Brooklyn Academy of Music. Yeah. We heard you were, well, you uh, are taking vacation. Yeah, I'm taking a week next off next week. week. I'm going to go well, you've fight crime as a cobbler. Five yeah. weeks in a row. Six weeks. Six, Six weeks, in weeks in a row. In a row it's time friend. for a week's vacation, my friend. How many do you do? How many do you, you do? You work six weeks. Did this? Do you the... work more than six weeks in a row? Of, of course I work. Everyone works more than six weeks in a row. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You do a late night show. What are you doing? Was this one of those things at the interview where, with Les Moonves where you said, I'd love to take the job. Just one thing. I have a cruise book the third week of October. <laughs> And it's non refundable, so I'm going to need to be away then. You know what? If you, you should get a better agent. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the same agent. We, we, you and I have the same agent. His yeah. name is, uh, is James Dixon. We call him Baby Doll. James, James Baby Doll Dixon. Baby Doll Dixon. Even people who don't know him call him Baby Doll now. People have shortened it to Baby now. So yeah. it's, like, it's like, how's the baby? And you think you're talking about your daughter, but no, we're talking about our agent. Yeah. Mary, <laughs> here's something that people don't know is that you're an artist. Okay? I do a little bit you're of an artwork. Artist, and this is, you gave me this. This for Christmas a couple years ago. Yeah. This is, this is. Can we close up with that? This is, uh, this is a portrait you did of our agent. This is James Baby Doll Dixon, and I can't imagine. I don't even think you would actually have to tell anybody's name. They go, is that guy's name Baby Doll? <laughs> you know, this is a screen print. It's two yes. colors, and then I, d I drew the smoke. So yeah. each one has its own kind of smoke curl. You really? So this is unique. It is unique. What do you think yes. I could get for this? What do you think I could get oh. for this? Have you seen any of these showing up on eBay, by the way? <laughs> I have not. I'd no. be curious. I think you can get $100 for that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I love about uh, you is that you have a very close relationship with Baby Doll. I do. It's too close, to be honest with you. James Baby Doll Dixon, my agent, instead of getting, he's a very wealthy man, and he will tell you that the minute you meet him. <laughs> here's another picture. Here's another picture. That's him. Doll. That's the guy. Here's baby Doll. He <laughs> this is. This is Baby Doll, like in mid February. This is as low as the tan ever goes. You see. There's a, this is it. There's a race between his skin and his lungs to see who will get cancer first. <laughs> and that's it. It is like, it is like, it's like when he shows up, it's like who put a family Bible in a shirt? <laughs> Well, he, uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions about him because it, it, he stays at my house. He, does he ever stay at your house? I have never told him where I live. I feel, <laughs> I feel like he behaves differently. He lives in New York when he comes to visit in Oh, LA. yeah, there's definitely like East Coast baby doll, West Coast baby doll. Let me just ask you a couple of things. Uh, East, Coast, West, East Coast baby doll, wears, does he wear a lot of cologne? I've actually been with him someplace, and he has said, uh, but we got to stop. I, I need to get some cologne. And we'll like, go into like a CVS, and he knows exactly what they have. Don't give me the Paco Rabanne. That's crap. He wears the, um... one kind of cologne, Versace, baby. It's designer. It's expensive. And he goes through, and I'm not joking, I, my hand to, to Stephen up there, <laughs> one bottle of cologne a week. Most... He smells fantastic, though. He does. He amazing, smells great. Amazing. So does my whole house now, thanks to him. <laughs> Does he call your assistant and ask for a detailed description of the previous night, previous night's show so that he can then call you and tell you how great it was the next day? <laughs> well, God, God, I hope not. <laughs> because if that's true, you've just blown, you've just blown a, an illusion that I had. I thought he actually watches what I do for a living. Well, maybe occasionally, but yeah. right now he's not even watching this. He's got two clients on at once, and he's outside smoking. Yes. <laughs> Does he brag about how many uh, houses he owns and, and country clubs he belongs to in your presence? He's very proud of it. Has he ever used the, uh, the uh, sentence, I've got too many cars when it snows <laughs> in front of you? Yeah, and you know, he's the, the thing is that he's like, it's you, me, John Stewart. Who else has he got? Uh, John Stewart, Stewart Carson, Carson Daly, Daly, Adam Carolla. He's the real king of late night. Like, there's no debate who the king of late night is. It's... It's Baby James, Doll Dixon. Baby Doll Dixon. It's that guy right there. The little king. Speaking of, speaking of, that, uh, speaking of that king of late night thing, yes. people like want us to fight and everything like that. Isn't that crazy? It, it is. Yeah, it's weird. It's a Dumb, weird thing. It? I think it, it was established with Letterman and Leno, and people yep. thought it would just continue yeah. like, the crusade. I like something. you, though. Thank you. I like you, too. I, I might even love you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. If you died, I'd cry like a baby. Yeah, I really? would. Really? God forbid, yeah. Wow, if I didn't have a show, I would come to your funeral. Thank you. <laughs>